Well, hello there for a dark episode for June the 1st, 2024, my MDMA night, where Ja and I and some friends who I will leave vague for legal reasons, because I think MDMA, yes, I'm pretty sure is not strictly speaking legal, um, went to that friend's house and, um, after a we had electrolytes and vitamins that we took earlier in the day, like at six hours, six to ten hours beforehand. We took some supplements when we got there, and then an hour later, we took some MDMA. I think I took one point. It was like 100, 100 milligrams. Um, and then after about two and a half, three hours, I took a re-up of a half point. Just to kind of make things last. And wow, I just really would not self-conceptualize myself as a person who would do drugs. I mean, I don't drink alcohol because my father was an alcoholic, miserable, miserable alcoholic. Um, so at that point, I had, sw I had sworn I was never going to fucking take any alcohol, any drugs, because I just saw the horrible damage it did to my family, to the stability of my family. And indeed, you know, after, well, after I'd made that decision, the, the summer after I graduated, my father killed himself due to his alcoholism, just destroying his life. He lost his job. He killed himself. And I've, you know, I've carried a lot of guilt with me over that for a long, a long time into my adulthood. So it's like not what I wanted to do. But... Um, Ja, who's much more gotten into kind of psychedelics, things that she's kind of searching to help her deal with a variety of things, which are hers to share with, share about. Um, she asked me if I would want to participate in taking MDMA with her, uh, and it being very much kind of billed as a, well, I think it's, they called it a love drug, but it's like a empathy, um, self-acceptance drug, I guess is how my experience of it was. I mean, this was a very carefully, wonderfully curated experience by our friend who was like, why are you so obsessed with the playlist? And it's like, oh, because the playlist, the music that is playing during this are the guideposts to keep you kind of within bounds, to keep you within kind of a happy trail. Um, and if you didn't have those, God, I feel sorry for people who take things, at, you know, un, you know, get roofied or stuff like that, where it's like shit, they panic and they fill it in with all the negative stuff. Cause I mean, it's very much what you're bringing to it. Um, but yeah, yeah. Um, so I had a really wonderful kind of experience of just, I think I, I, I sat there most of the time just saying I'm relaxed. Well, at the very beginning, I was quite nauseous. I was quite nauseous. It was just like, holy crap, am I going to puke? I was very quiet. But that slowly went away. I kind of kept my eyes shut because I was a bit kind of like, it's like I'm swimmy or I'm like a little seasick. But then it kind of get to just really relaxed and able to kind of chat and share with people as they shared stuff. I shared it with them, you know, alcoholism in families came up, I'm not sharing any of their things, but you know, that came up, um, you know, various other things came up and just, you know, having, why we didn't have children, um, various things. Um, now, unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, it didn't work for Ja and that's probably got to do with her own medications that she's on that it just didn't, it did not it did not work, um, but I don't, it's not, I, I avoided and I don't think of it as it was, you know, a failure for her because I feel like she got to be a part of our group, the four of us together sharing. Um, so, you know, you, you could have wished for, wished for more from her because that would have been amazing, but what we got was really, really amazing. And I was able to, um, 
you know, I think the thing I think about with like alcohol and stuff like that is like, or uh, other drugs, it's just like just loss of control. Um, so this made M, probably MDMA the kind of the best case scenario for me because it was very much, I was not in, I was probably, yes, it's altered, but um, very much in control, very much grounded and within myself. Like, you know, I'm probably still on a little bit on it right now, and I think I'm being fairly coherent. This sounds like just a usual kind of backyard session for me. But, I mean, I was like this with Ja. I was like this with the friends, um, which they had not seen me like this before. Because, like, in some ways, saying to them, it's like, well, Janine gets me like this a lot of time. A lot of the time, she Janine gets me like this. You can't shut me up. Um, I'm gonna get to share that with some other people. I mean, it is one of these things. It's like, wow, that was felt really nice, really, really nice. And I'm glad that I don't have like access to it. I mean, I think I would have the self control, but it's like it's good that I can only get it through this friend. And that is one of these things that you know, it's a law of diminishing returns. You should probably only do it once every three months. But I think as um, one of the friends said, it's like, well, you know, what use is this? What use is it to get like this? Like, do you then just go back to it being this, the other way and it's sucking? And it's like, I think it's, if I can say something to myself tomorrow, it's like, wake up and remember how good it felt to be open with people. That that feels really good to be open with other people. You know, it's people that you feel safe with, it feels good. And they respond well to it. And, you know, this is myself. This is myself on a really good night. And that, I think, is something that's achievable without MDMA. That is something where you can do that and it's not law of diminishing returns. The returns will increase greatly uh, the more you can just sort of say, ah, oh, that's how I felt when I was honest and open and I didn't let myself be ruled by fear. Just having the kind of a glimpse into that lived experience of that, I think is hopefully the most positive thing of that. So while, yes, there's been plans already for like maybe September, doing another night like this um i'm i can see that this is something on my goals my june goals that i have not done it's to foster this naturally and to f remember this feeling you know this feeling is really awesome and who knows maybe i'll let kim uh, i'll let somebody or ja uh, listen to this and uh, share that with them. That might not be bad. All right. I'm going to leave it there. More videos later.